Have you ever inherited a project that feels like a puzzle with missing pieces? If that's you, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into how to attach a debugger to a Dancer2 application. And trust me, it can be a game changer. I completely understand how daunting it can be to work with a framework you're not familiar with. You're not alone in feeling overwhelmed. Many developers face this challenge when they encounter Dancer2 for the first time. So here's the specific question we're tackling today. One user asked how to attach a regular debugger to a Dancer2 application. They mentioned struggling to get it to work, especially with a response handler. Sound familiar? Let's break it down together. Understanding how Dancer2 works is crucial here. Dancer2 is a lightweight web application framework for Perl, and debugging it can be tricky if you're not familiar with its structure. Let's explore how to make this process smoother. And stick around. I have a fantastic tip at the end that will make debugging in Dancer2 a breeze. To attach a debugger to the Dancer2 application, the user should first ensure that they have the Perl debugger installed. This is typically included with Perl distributions. Next, the user needs to modify the response handler in the Dancer2 application. They should add a line to enable the debugger when the specific route is accessed. Now, the user should run the application with the Perl debugger. They can do this by executing a specific command in the terminal that includes the necessary options. Finally, the user can access the route in their web browser or a tool like Postman. This will trigger the debugger, allowing them to step through the code. Fun fact, did you know that debugging is often considered an art form? It's like being a detective, piecing together clues to solve a mystery. And who doesn't love a good mystery? Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach to attaching a debugger to your Dancer2 application is to start it using Plackup. You can run the command with the Perl debugger by typing Perl D, followed by the path to Plackup, the port number, and your app's PSGI file. Here's the tip I promised. Always remember to clean up your debugging code after you're done. Leaving breakpoints in can lead to confusion later on. And there you have it. You should now be able to attach a debugger to your Dancer2 application with ease. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks. Happy debugging.